Vimeo. What are you doing? Testing my microphone. <laughs> what have you got? What have you got on it? I okay, so I don't have a thingy thing. So I right. took I took this pencil cup. <laughs> and then I took, and then this pantyhose. Which is obviously yours. Yes, and then you put the pantyhose on the pencil cup. Oh nice. Stuff the rest of it into there and then now now I think I have a a pretty decent little setup. I don't know. Uh, as long as you don't touch it, it'll be fine. But that's a great intro. I'm glad that we've immediately got to that. <laughs> hey, wh- where's your microphone pole? Uh, I I didn't bring it because I was like, oh, I'll just use the headphone, the microphone that's in these headphones. And welcome to the Joey Podcast, a mountain bike podcast about everything mountain bikes. But we try not to get lost in the technical world of head angles and stroke lengths. Just the adventures and shenanigans, which brings me to on today's episode, we have me. I am Shane, the Crashing Dad. I am. And I am also here. I feel like I don't know. That's quite arrogant of me to be like, "Oh, uh, Shane, Shane, me, <laughs> me." I get, hey, shut up, Paul. Okay. And and the person with with the odd microphone that's in a hotel room, kind of living my life right now. Well, maybe not. A little bit better than my life is Paul from Paul the Punter. Hello, Paul. Hello. Everyone, wait. Which side is the microphone on in these headphones? Is it? Does hey? Wait. Okay. How about this? Voice A, voice B, voice A. Okay. Well, there we go. We've got the voice right a, side. So much better. And if you could just keep the accent going, that would be fantastic. I'll try. I've been re- doing really well over like this. This is the sixteenth episode, I think. I could be wrong. But of, we'll of your accent, I love it. I know it's the. I'm. I can't wait for Hollywood to call me up to play some sort of evil villain, which is all they cast English people to do. <laughs> well, if you haven't noticed, we've only done two people. We normally have three people. We normally have our boy Josh, but Josh has regular life. He had to go to tonight. Sweden. He had to go back to Sweden. Uh, IKEA called him up, and they said, "Josh, you must have come back home." <laughs> and so he's gone because Josh is Swedish. Yep. Oh, we can say so, so much stuff and he's not is he here. Swedish but... for real? No, he's, <laughs> he's got that Swedish haircut. Mm. <laughs> he looks Swedish, doesn't he? Love that Swedish Comment haircut. below if you've always wondered if Josh is Swedish. That's you know, great. it's going to be weird here without him because everyone always comments that Josh keeps you in line. And uh, I don't know. If, I don't know if I can keep you in line. I don't understand how I get out of line. Like that's the real, that's the real question. And I'm kind of the personality to just go along with everything. So I don't really understand how you get out of line either. <laughs> see, see, that's what I mean. So maybe it's just, maybe it's just them. But anyway, I have this on, I'm in this hotel because I'm doing daily videos from Whistler Bike Park, which means that I'm almost done with today's edit. But the longest, the thing that takes the longest is the exporting and the uploading. That's mm. like that's like the hardest bit, which you know, Shane. Because oh yeah, you did daily videos when we were in Sedona. Mm-hmm. Have you gotten yours done yet for today? Uh, well, I just said I've almost got it done. Almost. I'm literally. Okay. I'm literally. I've just made a meme, which I'm very pleased about. <laughs> that took the longest bit, I guess. Do you and have then, it that you can share with us right now, or is it? Do we have no, to wait? No, no, no. It's not. It's not good enough. But it's. You uh, said you're very pleased with it. I know. So you watch it in the video. <laughs> oh, it's going to be in the video. Okay. So oh yeah. That's what I mean. That's what I, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. If yeah. I, what's what I mean. If I have done my duty, right. You will see up, up here. If you're on the YouTube version, a link to Paul's daily videos, because. Ah, oh, yes. Cause you're in charge of the cards him, now. Yes. That's, that's your responsibility. I if it's not the there, cards. then Shane has not done it. Yes, then I have oh, not. I have not. Oh yeah. man! So I have to do the editing, and then I'll have to. I'll edit this tomorrow morning, and then set that uploading and going live while I go out and start filming the next video. Oh, double but whammy! It's really, it's really like it's like yeah, this is my job, and I have to remember that. And hopefully, people are respectful of that. But it is obviously not the worst job in the world. It's certainly better than I don't know picking gum off the bottom of school tables, for example. Let's so, go right to that. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, that was the first thing that popped into my head. Poor janitors. Oh, goodness gracious. I feel so yeah. weird and out yeah. of sorts. So hopefully this here. internet, oh, uh, yeah. Hopefully the hotel internet that I'm hosting on is going to survive because it looks like it's kind of struggling with Shane. But you hopefully know, if I keep talking a bit, it might help. Shane, 
Are you I, still I think there? so. You went you went a little bit pixelated for just a little bit. Oh no! But it's it's fine. You know you need to get on that Shame. What, We're sundial it. hotel. Oh, hold on. Are we are you in a hotel as well? No, I'm at home. Ah, uh, we should have got you to host this. Oh goodness gracious! Okay, you're back now. So I won't stop. I'll stop waving things around so much. And that might help. And then I'll just pretend like I'm frozen. Okay, but don't <laughs> do that because that makes me go. Uh, uh, oh, what's, what's <laughs> happening? Well, okay. I think we should we should move right into our regular schedule for the podcast, even though we don't have Josh and it's just us two. Uh, what what is our first our first thing we normally move into, Paul? Well, it's it's of course last week's comments, Shane. Mm. Uh, la- last week's <laughs> comment. <laughs> nice. I can't even remember what we came up for last week's comments, but we're Isn't just going to jump right into it. Wasn't it just last- like one chord? Yeah, it's like just one, one chord. I th- I think last that's week's weird. comments. I can't I remember. Oh, hey, that's that's perfect. I think you got it. Okay. Last so. week we talked about e-bikes, which is kind of controversial. How how many comments did we get? Wait, we can see. Look, boop. Oh. 133. 133 comments. That's not bad. Not that's not bad. Okay, who have we got though? I'll try and find them. You know, with with the comments. Okay, so e-bikes are pretty polarizing, or they're they're known for being polarizing. I think most people are pretty positive about everything. Like most people are kind of just like bikes are for fun and e-bikes are fun. So get over it, you know? Yeah. I yeah. think most of the hate is going away. Nice. But our boy, Jonathan Christie six, he says, there is one reason that makes e-bikes one of the lamest things in all of MTB. Paul loves them and Paul is old. So e-bikes right. are for old people. <laughs> I saw this. <laughs> I saw this. And Right. First of all, how old are you again, Shane? Before I'm I put my foot. Thir- 32, 33. Wait, what do you, you, you must know. Like, I think I'm 32. On. My wife and I, we stagger you. She's a year older than mine, so I was, we always forget. But. Well, when were you born? 87. <laughs> okay. And then I'm in what month? June. Ah, so you are 32. And, and you are two months older than me. And the last so. four of my social are 792. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep going. June 21st. My okay. inseam is 31 inches. Mm. Uh, so I don't understand how I'm old. And unless, unless Jonathan Christie is very young, I'd say 32. I'd say we're sp- spring chickens. We're no, we're no Josh, for example. As he is somehow a child, even though he has way more responsibility <laughs> than I'll seemingly ever have. Sometimes I feel old. I don't know. I but, I felt old when I went out with Bobo two months ago and have since not touched a drop of alcohol. I was going to say, <laughs> a little bit too much alcohol. Yeah, okay. That is the main difference, isn't it? It's got to be. Like, you just Probably. cannot deal. You cannot deal with anything. I say yeah. as I'm having my alcohol. <laughs> yeah, but that'll be like one. That'll be like one for the for the time. I usually have one alcohol a week, and it is on the Joey podcast. Ah, very good. Okay. <laughs> uh, the mediocre mountain biker. Okay, here's the deal. If jo- Oh, guys, this. If Josh attempts a backflip, then Paul has to ride off the ramp to the airbag. Oh, wait. I didn't do that. That's very true. But who knows? Maybe this winter things will change. Mm, okay, uh, so I think he's talking about the deals that you guys make and the yeah. deal that we made with Josh. What what was the deal? Uh, it's if I do the ski jump, which uh, is not looking very likely. And I'll, mm. I'll explain why. <laughs> but, okay, so but if you I'm, do the ski like, jump, then he has to try an e-bike. Yeah, I think that was it. And but Jordan commented I, I right to, under that. Did I have to, wait, did I have to do it or did I have to just try it? Because I'll just try it. it. You have to clear oh, it. Oh, okay. And Jordan well, Jordan Boostmaster right under that said, Paul, I'll help you clear the jump on A-Line. Let's oh, get Josh on an e-bike. He is, he's coming here on Thursday. The only problem is that, uh, well, the, the, the problems that have been so far, and like someone will say, excuse, whatever, but this is legit. And I'm glad you're here, empathetic, Shane, to <laughs> understand and to listen to me. So uh, it was Saturday and Sunday. I managed to get four runs and five runs respectively from a whole day because the queues were so long. Yeah, that's about normal for a busy day. 
No way. That's... From what from what I've seen at our bike parks. Okay, so but that's between 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. Oh wow! There we go. <laughs> now the yeah, the the so the first day it was so cold. Like I'm talking below 40 or what no that's that's ridiculous in the 40s if you're fahrenheit and it was like okay. eight eight nine degrees celsius here and you're trying to ride and i was like wow this is cold and then so you can't get warmed up so those are the first two days then yesterday was kind of okay but the stoke was low and today was great because i had nick from van Cam, Ooh. uh helping me out it was good but, I thought the uh, stoke from yesterday was pretty good. You had those two girls and the one that like, whoa, it, man, that save was crazy. Oh, I couldn't believe it. Like that was that over the bars was nuts. I've but, had those before where you like land on your front wheel and ride it for a little bit. She, oh, she was. Joe was on it, like for sure. But yeah, but she she was feeling she had a kind of a migraine going on. Uh, and then I don't know. But I think, and then today, I'll talk about what went wrong today because that is my Jerry of the Week nomination for myself. And I'm going to win. I'm going to beat everyone, whatever okay. anyone says. Like, I've won. So maybe so, let's save that for Joey of the Week. That's yeah. So, uh, so, you know, I could have, you know, I have three days and for sure I could, I was just, I've done most of the stuff I wanted to do. So I was just going to be like A-line. But um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see mm. what the weather brings. We'll see what the weather brings. That that techie trail that you're dropping into the very beginning of your videos looks pretty insane. Which but, one? Uh, I don't know. You're like I don't know. Why am I asking you? The very uh, beginning of your videos. I don't know. But we've got to find another way to get Josh on an e-bike. So we'll come up oh, with yeah. something in the future. He'll go to Bentonville and he'll, he'll do it. That's for sure. Um, mm. Okay. Uh, Oliver Mays. Olivier's. Olivier Sorry, every Mays. Time. Who is actually, I think he's related to Martin. No, he's not. Totally. Really? He, he talks, he's talked about it. Like, yeah, like I need to get this so I really? can keep, keep up with Martin on the trails. Yeah, really? No way. Okay. Well, o Olivier. Where, where is this comment? Yeah, comment again. Yes, Olivier, let us know what your relation is to Martin. Because yeah. I swear and that you if, mentioned him, which is pretty cool. Yeah, and then if you know him, uh, can you please get us a soundbite? For the intro. <laughs> That's what we need to start collecting now. Hi, this intro. is Martin Mays, and you're listening to the Joey Podcast. Hi, this is Martin Mays. <laughs> I, mean, I, don't, I don't know what he sounds like. All I know anyway, is he rides a GP. So Olivier says, I've only done one ride on an e-bike, but I must say it was way more fun than I had anticipated. The obvious advantage of that climbing is way faster, which may be helpful for older or less fit riders. And yeah, I agree. So a lot of people say that if you get an e-bike, you're going to get less fit but it's like how <laughs> how exactly yeah. it i don't I, I don't understand but anyway uh who else do we have who well we okay have? so just in, in talking about that too he's talking about the downhill seemed to be harder oh too, oh sorry yeah you're like slogging around a, a, a heavier bike maybe not slogging is the right word but yeah, he just muscling, he makes muscling the bike as he said he makes good. the point that e-bikes are a crazy workout and if you're climbing with people who are fast on e-bikes you, yeah you're gonna get a workout good point oh, yeah. Olivier. for sure uh, right. uh open face what does he say shame open or face. she or she open face or she yep she said just she said or he said just stumbled <laughs> on this podcast slash video I, I love the interaction between the three of you guys oh we're messing it up <laughs> i'd love an e-bike but as none of my riding buddies have, have them i feel it would be pointless while i can still pedal to the top of the hills okay so that is a good point 51 years old all your friends still have analog acoustic bikes yeah you know. that this i think it's a good point and this is something that i heard about like ages ago when they were just coming out it's like you need everyone needs to be on an e-bike for it to be like an enjoyable experience I think for me, once they're allowed everywhere, I'll totally get one, even if, and I'll just, you know, soft pedal while the other dudes ride their acoustic bikes. Oh, yeah. You could sit on, you could sit on the bars and try and ride up backwards. Yes. You, yeah. Backwards. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Josh, and there, oh, and Open Face said, P.S. How do you only have 500 subscribers? We are at 500 subscribers. That's no big deal for us. Hey, I'm pretty stoked with that, considering we are a purely audio YouTube channel. Uh, but I don't. I have no idea how many people we have on um, Spotify. Can you subscribe? Or, or Apple. 
on Spotify or Apple? Yeah, you can. You can subscribe on Apple and you can follow on Spotify. Follow. Oh, do you know what I said? We would. Do you know what I said we should do is read out some of our reviews. Hold on. I wonder okay. if I can. <laughs> yeah, you read out some more comments. And well, I'll find the reviews. Just in regards to the YouTube version. If you're on the YouTube version, Jake MTB, he says, "Oh, I didn't know you guys had a podcast. I'm so happy to find it." So I would just like to say to Jake, welcome to the Joey family. And if you too would like to be like Jake, hit that subscribe button on YouTube and give us a five-star rating on your podcast app of choice. Leave a review if you can leave a review. But as far as comments with the lots of comments, we appreciate everybody's comments and the SEO comments from our boys. You know know who you are, MTB Go. I'm sure you're in there. And if you comment on this week's podcast... Maybe we will read your name and comment live on air next week. Live, but delayed a What day. a fantastic end segment. Yes. Do we have, do hey, we have we've some had reviews? 27, yeah, we've had 27 reviews on Apple. Wow. So now we can start checking how many we get. 27 is not bad. Do Somehow we have, someone gave us four stars. Do we have uh, a one I, star? Well, I want to hear thought, the worst one. We have a foot. The four star is the only one, but we've, um, uh, we've we've had a few. I'm pretty sure the the first one was me. I'm not sure. I'm not <laughs> sure. I can't remember. It's like creating a see... personal Paul Hasem account and going and commenting on Paul the punter. Hey, yeah. great video. Yeah. I can't. Oh, let's go to this view. Burn, burn, zoom in. Hey, that view. That view. That view. I prefer this one. Okay. It's like Josh is here, but not really. Um, and let's have a look. Uh, farting kitty. <laughs> <laughs> mountain Spark? bike, mountain bike, mountain bike, mountain bike. Hopefully that helps the search engine identify this is as a mountain bike podcast. It's a fun mountain bike podcast with three YouTubers who might give you occasional information about mount- mountain biking. It's honestly a blast. <laughs> is that you? Occasional. No, it's not Is that me. you or are you just loving it? I'm just laughing. That's oh, awesome. So I guess it's not Josh. That wasn't me. I can't remember if this was me though. I don't think it is. Uh, the real deal. What a great podcast. Finally, real mountain bikers that talk about the joy of riding versus gear reviews. Thank you guys. And that's from nice. true music fan. True. Uh, music fan. Oh, this is so good. I feel great. We should feel great about ourselves with yeah. this incredible bit of uh, self <laughs> self indulgence. Uh, organic Aaron. This is the last one. Organic Aaron. Hilarious mountain bike related discussions. I like will say that I want to hear some of the bad, week. bad ones though. So if you have a bad review, come on, give yeah, it to there's us. No, there's no, 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 no. We cannot have, we cannot risk that this kind of great rating. Yeah. One, four star, 26, five rating on Apple. So please give us some more so uh, we can feel good about ourselves. Okay. It's, uh, hey, it's time for the next segment. Ah, there we go. Sorry, I think you cut out for a yeah, little check. quick bit. But I gotta uh, be on it. Hey, everyone, be- look, just quick, uh, quick, quick service, public service announcement. I am streaming this from a hotel in Whistler, the Centile Boutique Hotel. Uh, and uh, if things cut out, then give us a break. We'll be, <laughs> we'll be back to normal next week. Okay, yes. Jane, Jane. All right. Should I do like the regular version or like an emo? Yeah, do emo, do emo punk rock, yeah. Is it you? Is it me? It's the Joey of the week. (laughs) (laughs) Is that emo enough? That was amazing. That's kind of dashboard, dashboard confessional type thing. Oh, yeah, that's complete emo right there. Oh, that was I'm crying over here. All right, Joey yes, of the Week. It's time for Joey of the Week, where we ask who, what, when, Aaron Gwen. Aaron Gwen? Uh, he really has been doing nothing, as far as I'm concerned. He is radio silent. Hmm. Uh, maybe he's on holiday or something. Um, is the yeah. season over for him? Oh, yeah, the season's over. But, uh, yeah. Hey, you, you should, I highly recommend watching the highlights from the Enduro of Nations uh EWS race. It was Dude, fantastic. I just watched it literally like an hour ago, and that mm. was one of the best. Th- Holy cow! Like that race format is amazing. Yeah. Hey, I've, I there might be there's rumors of that kind of race format happening in Squamish, Ooh. but it's only rumors. It's only rumors. So you know, we'll see. But I, I was watching. That. I was like, 
this is it. Like so many people would be into this. Yeah. And I saw that and I was like, we need to do this locally. Like, even if it's just, you know, we have our group of 10 friends and, you know, get into groups of three or two, whatever, like, ah, so much, so much fun. And I ride, I I just think like I would ride so much better and have much more fun if I had my buddy in front of me. Oh yeah. And the con, the videos we'd make Uh, amazing. And they made some cool videos. Oh yeah. So I guess a uh, Joe of the week moment for that would be Miranda Miller pro pro uh, pro uh, wait, figure out a way that we can say pro and Jerry in the same word. pro There it is. A pro moment of the week. Miranda Miller did kind of do the classic Paul, Paul the punter stop mid trail. And then Ellen oh. hit her in the back. That was it's because she was yelling at her. She was like, I'm still here. And she thought she wasn't, she was like going to slow down for her. Oh. Right? Yeah, I thought and, they were just trying to pick some lines. I couldn't really hear what was going on. Yeah, oh, they just said bad communication, and she thought that she lost her off her wheel. And ah, no way. Okay, uh, let's 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 fire through these. Uh, Olivier Mays, he's right there again. I don't think it's a Jerry move to bring your road bike to the trails. It really is a pro move because when your trails start to get too easy, you ride them on your road bike. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. a fair point. But that's not a Joey McShane. <laughs> okay, not, it's, it's, Joey not a, it's not a Joey nomination, but he's talking about last week's winner, Joey nomination, bringing the road bike. Uh, and I, yes. think, I, think it's a good, I think it's a good point because... Uh, I don't think it's a good point. I think he just fucked up. Well, come on. <laughs> oh, we've, we've got to butter up Olivier so he can get us that sound bite. I knew, that's, I knew that's why you were putting it in. I knew it. Right. Okay, only, jump only. MTB. Jump, jump MTB. MTB. He says his Joey of the week. He's out for the ride on the best downhill trail. Uh, what he's got, I don't know. And it's, you know, four, around four gnarly fast, super rocky sections that he cleaned no problem. Then That's the trail right. mellows out and there's literally, it's super smooth and literally one rock in the middle of the trail. He hits it, tackles his wheel, goes OTB and tore his rotator cuff off his right shoulder. Oh. Oh. Crashing on the easiest part of the trail has to be one of the most classic Joey moves there is. Oh, that sure is a Jerry move. Wow, that That's, sucks. That sounds like Josh, though, like doing double blacks and then crashing oh, yeah. on a blue or green. Yeah, first turn, whistle opening day, he crashed. It was pretty much the first turn. It wasn't the actual first turn, but <laughs> may as well have been. Um, MTB Allenden. Allenden. So, on a lighter note, I put myself forward for jury of the week. My wife decided, to my amazement, to try riding in a bike park. I'm going to say that again because that was really strange inflections of sentences. <laughs> My wife decided to, oh, God, this is hard. He needs a comma right there. That's why. My wife decided, to my amazement, to try riding in a bike park. Off we go to Samerberg Bike Park, and we are standing in front of the only blue trail there. Just follow me down, love. I'll share instructions. Off we go. I'm 900 meters down the track, merrily shouting instructions out. I realized there is no one behind me. Oh, no. Riding, he's riding an e-bike. He put the thing in, oh wait, I've switched, I've switched persons here. I'll go back to first person. Riding an e-bike, I put the thing in turbo and shoot back up the trail and find my loving wife had crashed on the first corner oh. and was still in the dead ant position and still clipped into the bike. Oh no. <laughs> Said bike was then pushed down the fire road and back to the camping site we drove to. It was a complete Joey move, not realizing that my wife was missing. Mm. Ooh, yeah, she's tricky. not Joey. He's the Joey. Mm. And for a brand new, if you're taking someone brand new out on the trails, you don't just say, yeah, just follow me. Everything will be good. <laughs> uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess that she is a normal kind of cyclist. Uh but well, the she's clipping, clipped in. Clip, yeah, that's uh, that's what I'm assuming. Unless, I mean, if Allendon is saying that she has to clip in, and that's why, then you know, maybe that is a super Jerry move. But hey, maybe try try some flats, try some flats for the old bike park. That might make the next trip a little mm. bit better. But find, certainly, a, find a nice little green trail for her too. Mm, well, the they said park. the the only blue trail, so they they might have been stranded. Possibly. Okay. Hey, right. MTB M- Trailhead. MTB Trailhead. He says he forgot to put his nomination in last week, but while at the UCI World Cup in Snowshoe, we were hanging out watching some downhill practice, and someone noticed a guy riding up the ski slope on an e bike. The guy that noticed him started chanting, e bike, e bike. <laughs> and quickly, the whole crowd 
and this is a huge crowd if you've seen it with all eyes on the e-bike were chanting and uh he put his fists up into the air saying yeah look you're all chanting me he lost his balance fell over like someone riding clips for the first time <laughs> <laughs> the entire oh. crowd cheered and got up and waved. Oh, we've got some good e-bike nominations on this one. Nice. Hey, that I really enjoyed that one, Trailhead, because that was on the theme. Definitely. On the theme. Okay, so who uh, wins wonder, for the listener listen, nomination? Hey, listen, I wonder if that was Remy Absalom, because he was riding around the cross-country track following his wife, who's in, she oh, just yeah. became the world champion. I wonder if that was him. Because it's like a circuit race, so he was like getting yeah. to all the places quick. That would be hilarious, and he would yeah. take he would take that with stride. Oh yeah, well he's literally he's I believe he's a five time world champion. Oh yeah, yeah I think he's like he's yep. super pro. <laughs> I'm good. Uh, who wins? Mm-hmm. Mm. I think Jerry uh, move is going to be chump. chump. No, I think it's chump. Hitting the one rock, tackling his wheel, and yeah. okay. I think that's Jerry move. Yeah, I Chump MTB, that. you get the Joey of the Week for the listener nominations. Do we have any Joey of the Week nominations between us two? Oh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say Josh because he oh. missed today. Yeah, Josh, Josh if, is Jerry because he's missing. Obviously, yeah. I mean, un- unfortunately to share with this is it's not the best circumstances so we're gonna go easy on josh that's true week. but if you know um, you have band practice every tuesday night at <laughs> you make it to band practice because everyone's schedules are revolving around you we uh, need we need the bass player josh come back okay is Paul. he bass i guess so he seems like a bassist i'll be the drummer uh okay so oh my god shane i had two moments today i'm gonna share both of them <laughs> today but yeah, today, hours, hours ago. The most fresh one. Okay, bring up the fresh one. Okay, so ones. the first one is I'm here making a video every day. So what's the one thing you need to make a video? A camera. And I forgot to plug the batteries in on charge. Oh, and man. then we literally got like four laps down and I go, oh, this battery has run out. And then I pull out, try to put the other one in. And that one also is dead. <laughs> I'm like... I don't know. Uh, for your DSLR or the GoPro? No, for the GoP. For the GoP. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, full Jerry. Yeah. Full YouTuber. Oh, movie. what did we call that? What's the YouTuber Joey called? Uh, just Jerry. Jerry Tuber. We'll, Joey Tuber. We'll go for that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but my real Jerry move. Okay, this is it. I noticed the the stream kind of cut out a little bit there. I guess from me waving my GoPro around <laughs> and uh, disrupting the Wi-Fi feed or something. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so get this. So every day I've been here, okay, uh, I've had my bike for a while now, uh, let's say a month and a half, ridden in various conditions in the Alps, in the, the dry California, and now I'm here in Whistler in the cold, cold fall. Uh so I think this pertains to what happened, but I'm every day in the afternoon. I'm like, oh, my fork, I my bike is like pushing me forward. It's like diving down, and like every day. And then I only just realized today, it's like, oh, every day in the afternoon, every time I'm like coming to a jump, feel unsafe because it's like something something doesn't feel quite right. Ah, my fork has just gone really, really weird, and I've been pumping it up every day, making it harder and harder, oh, which no. has actually been great. No, that's a good thing because I've been getting faster and faster. <laughs> okay. So, and I still, I've still been using all the suspension, so that's fine. However, so literally, we, I'm with Nick. I'm so determined to get through a line while he's here because he was, he was really great to ride with, and I'm just like, look, Nick, let's just go and pump this up again. And anyway, go into the shop, I pump it up, and then I walk out, and I just so I just happen to go, oh, and I went, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe I should check my front, my front tire. I push it, it's basically flat. Oh, so you've been riding a flat front tire, and you <laughs> think it's your fork? So I go in to the hotel, go and get the pump and the pressure gauge, and I was like, it can't be that bad. Put it on. I normally run 22 in the front, 15 PSI. Wow. <laughs> <My> front wheel. <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> and I just sit there and go, oh my God, maybe like the sealant has dried or something. Yeah. Because I've just had it for so long. Because it's so <laughs> slow. Like, listen, I'm doing like seven laps in the bike park and it's still got air in it. It's just low. Wow. Yeah, because you can get away with 15. Yeah, but I, at a one point during the day, I was like, whoa, I have so much traction on the front. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to roll a tire. <laughs> Oh, but I didn't. It stayed on the rim. Hashtag E13, sponsors dream. No, wait. Uh, Aren't you the one that says to check your tire pressure before dude, every ride? The, and like, this is, but this is what I do because I don't think of that because I've been like, I've had zero problems with my you've tires, been, whatever. Yeah. You've been dialing your auto. suspension in. Yeah. So, and I just, I'm just like fixated that it's that. So like, what I do is I get my pump and I don't put the pressure gauge on first. I just shove the pump on, lock it and start pumping up. And don't even look at the pressure gauge. Hmm. I just go, I'm just going to pump it up, pump, 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 pump. And like, yeah, I think it's been going down every <laughs> single day. But today was the day I did the most amount of riding. So it probably went down the most. Oh, yeah. But you had the uh, most, most grip today. For a one point, I was like, whoa, I have to. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> so, yeah, I actually kind of, I feel good to now to kind of vent this a little bit. I get it off my chest because I okay. felt like an idiot because of all the videos I've been doing. I've done three videos so far and all the videos I'm like, oh, I just can't feel comfortable. And like, this is why. You were even like looking at the science of, am I losing air pressure? I know. In my yeah, yeah. Looking at the freaking <laughs> altitude, like how much, what's the difference in altitude and temperature change? And yeah, I'm no. an idiot. Well, someone so has to have, someone has to have no, two nominations is, while Jack yeah. is gone. Yeah, there's no, there's no way, Shane, whatever you've done, there's no way that's going to be bigger than that. I don't think I really have. I mean, so I went to a bike park and accidentally sent a 20 foot drop. Yeah, that's not a Jerry move. That's a Shane move. Classic <laughs> Shane. <laughs> I didn't have any crashes. Um, I don't know. I bought some new clipless shoes to replace the ones that I dremeled out, but that's oh, not really okay. Joey. We already addressed that one. Yeah, I think you get it. Yeah. Let's just let's just give it to you for both. Yeah, I think I, the I think the tire one is more Joey than the camera one. Oh yeah, camera one is just like it is what it is. But that like I couldn't believe when I did, I've got it all on camera. I'm about to I'm literally about to drop it into the editing thing now. But it's just like like right at the beginning as well. I mean, it's pretty rough around here, right? Yeah, and I've been riding a lot and it's hard and. I think, and with the cold, mate, I don't know, whatever, I'm so over bikes. Uh, it happens. <laughs> yeah, I just, think, uh, yeah, I think the ceiling it may have just like maybe dried in the front because I've, I've redone the rear more recently. So hmm. the rear was fine. Well, I can't wait yeah. to see all this funny footage. Oh, you're going to enjoy it. That's I've got to choose just the right amount of comedy music to I'm, put in. Yeah. Yeah. I'm loving these daily daily videos. Uh, uh, it's 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 kind of fun. Like I actually like I was watching some Casey Neistat to get some kind of inspiration, and there was like this bit where he's like, "Oh, you know, every day is a drain until that moment where you push upload, and it's like, whoa, yeah, uh, amazing." Sm- and, does it does it make it all worth it? Uh, when I finish the video, and I'm like, okay, that's cool. Like I'll go, okay, that's not bad. You're putting a lot of like editing work into your daily videos more than I ever did. Holy cow. Like it's not like, dude, I don't think it's that much. It's like, I'm very, I'm brutal when I go through and edit it. I'm like, if, even if you talk for five minutes, I'll just find something that's good at the beginning and then be like, yep, that's good. And then just crack <laughs> Cut off. the rest. Yeah. Cut the fat. Just like, yeah. Unfortunately, Nick was being hilarious today. What a funny guy. And I didn't, I wasn't recording much B-roll because I thought I was going to run out of battery. But he said he had some amazing sound bites and I just oh, like, oh, nice. I wish I was recording all this. Did he, was so, he recording anything? Yeah, he, he was following me because he was going to make like a, oh, like, you know, what is Paul doing wrong kind of video. Did he give you the footage? Uh, no, it doesn't, it's kind of not as good. Like people want to watch it from the first person. Like this, Brian said this yeah. before. He's like, you know, people say like, oh, I'll wear the gimbal for a bit. And he's like, ah, it's not really the same. So we'll see. Yeah, that's um, true. Yeah, I'm kind of a bit, I'm a bit heartbroken that uh, the old weather is not playing ball, 
especially after last year like oh no wednesday looks better okay there's no rain now tomorrow the Way. weather changed okay okay we're back in maybe no nice. i'm just gonna get up super early edit this podcast then <laughs> go and fill my tire back up with sealant and then hope for the best so well, we'll we appreciate your dedication to the joey podcast oh please mm. i'm just just doing my job you well, guys have got kids. I don't yeah. have kids. And also, uh, special announcement. I'm going to officially use uh, Shane's music in, in this. Have you only said you've sent me two? Oh, yeah. Two I songs. only had the I only had the two for now. But are you, you're talking the music. OK, the music I made when I was 15. If you haven't yeah, seen my was... recent video, which will link, <laughs> I'm going to link in the description below because I don't want to find this in comment. In the I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to find these. uh this timestamp to link it in the card, but we'll put it in the comment or description below. But amazing. Yeah, I, do you know what I really enjoy? I actually, I was making my breakfast and I watched it and I was just like, is this still going on? And I peek around the corner and you've got like all the text going on. Oh. The bottom. <laughs> I was like, wow. But seriously, did you just put the whole song in so that you could get the video to 10 minutes or something? Uh, oh no. So I actually, I had it at like, Oh, <gasps> Nine. Hey, look who's there! Look who's there! Look who's there! Who's there? Who's Josh! there? No way! Josh! Hey, oh, hello, everyone. God. I am back from a long journey. How are you? Oh, we are <laughs> fantastic now. How are you? Only 45 minutes into the podcast. <laughs> you know, guys, they say Josh. better late than never, but you might be thinking better never than late. But hey, I'm here. <laughs> Click the live button. <gasps> oh! uh, so. Oh, sorry. Oh, For I those of you, like... I get to I get to enjoy this, Josh. I get to enjoy this. Uh, yes, Soak we it do up, have Paul. we do have Josh. He's made a, an amazing appearance. Um, we've switched streams because the hotel Wi-Fi is not great. Uh, we've just been talking for like 15, 20 <laughs> minutes, maybe at least Josh, forty. Josh <laughs> did not push live. He did yeah. not push go live. And now you'll never get to hear any of that. But li listeners, I have just explained my why I'm Joey of the Week. And Josh went, hey, do you know what? That's pretty fair. Paul, I would have probably done the same thing. And I was like, hey, Josh, thanks very much for being so understanding. That's exactly so, how uh, it went. And, that, and that's, <laughs> that's exactly <laughs> how it went. Everyone's like, everyone's like filtering through their memory. When has Josh ever agreed with Paul? <laughs> Wait, never. <laughs> well, that didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's even better than the stuff we've been talking about. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> but Paul uh, but is the joy of the week, hands down. I, oh, 100%. I, I, even yeah. that moment oh, yeah. that you just did then, Josh, like, mine's way big. My, mine's way more embarrassing. But oh, do, yeah, you, okay. do you have a mountain bike joy of the week moment? Who, me? Yeah. Did you ride your bike this week? Of course. He, rode, he, rides, a, he, he rides every day, Shane. Daily. I do. I do ride my bike every day. People ask me that. I think the latest one that was like was like a legitimate like true concern was Eric from the channel BCPOV. He's just like every day, R really? Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, yeah. Like I try every day. Like even if it's at like you know ten o'clock at night. Yep, I go out on my bike. Um, you know what? I went on a ride, but I did not pull a Joey moment. Not this week. No, it's just pretty typical. Mm. Uh, don't worry i'm carrying carrying the team flag for everyone carrying mm. the weight one well yeah i i guess this is a you can call this a joy moment i have a dirt jumper oh here we go here we go here we go this is, <laughs> <it>. <laughs> this is not because it's. Just, i think most of our viewers would go oh wow i actually had no idea about that um, my dirt jumper has an air valve so i assumed it was an air fork i was at the pump track with somebody and i was talking about yeah like i haven't even checked the air on this i totally need to uh but it's super firm and it's an air fork so i know it probably has enough and the guy goes um that is air and coil I'm like what he's like yeah what that like has a coil but then it's like you add air on top of that and i was like oh my gosh i've never checked the air on my fork yeah yeah, yeah. Whoa. It, wow whoa 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 that doesn't sound right so it's just where the coil is it's completely sealed with air so Wait, you have well, the suppleness and the i will act like air. i know it is what a fork, what fork do you have yeah it is the i'm gonna i'm gonna butcher this which will make me joy of the week can you turn around it's around it's near your it's near where you're sat right now isn't it no it's it's not with me right now it's a manitou it's a manitou uh what's it called um 
Circus. circus. Yes, a Manitou Circus, but it's not the super high end one, but it has black stanchions. Um, but yeah, it's like uh, part coil, part air. Oh. This is where we can act like we were going to edit this down, but we all know we won't. <laughs> please, please keep talking so I don't have to edit this because I know you guys have a lot of uh, commitments. So yeah, I, I am so, still going to be doing daily videos, and I'm going to edit this podcast. <laughs> so, so my please understanding is, give me a break. <laughs> yeah, the Circus Pro, um, I think is Circus all Expert. Air. Is this what you've got, Circus Expert? I believe so. And it's like part coil, part air. And so I was at the pump track and literally some guys like, oh yeah, that's not a full air fork. And I'm like, what? Like, why would they make something that's half and half? Uh, no, he's, he's like, completely, he's completely wrong. Whoever this person no, I'm, is. He was a smart, I'm telling y'all, this smart guy dude. was smart. Uh, <laughs> he was a fart smeller. I mean, a smart feller. He was a smart. I, I have never heard of. I mean, there's the the MRP ones that have like the two chambers, but I mean, you have a damper on one side, as you know, like a, comp yeah. a compression rebound, and then on the other side you have an air cartridge. Which I've just looked. If you've got the Circus Expert forks, which is kind of sounds what it's like, yeah, no, yeah, they don't they don't do that, a hundred percent. I mean, they do have you know they I'll have like a coil, and then. To service it, you take that out and then grease it, literally, and put it back together. So, so there is a coil? Uh, but then there's a freaking same... Oh, I don't know. Whatever. See, I'm, next I'm, time, when I get my bike... My bike is not here currently. When I get it back, I will double check. But I I, I feel like he was right. Like When I looked at it, I was like, I had no yeah. idea. I mean, it's, it's like, it's still air. I had this on an old dirt jumper, so maybe this is relevant. But oh, it I sounds had, like you're like, oh, Josh, when I was a peasant like you, I had that. So, yeah, it's an air. <laughs> uh, I probably have the same as you right now. I've got some extra. You, one or you probably do, but you have a front brake. So that discounts yeah. you for any. Speaking. Yeah, but, but um, neither of those anyway, brakes work. None of those brakes you know work right now. Paul, Shane, our listeners, please weigh in. Let me know. Am I correct in thinking I have an air and and coil shock f shock fork or is paul Nailing correct it. in what i thought was true and it was just air like i, I don't know on, I just on single tracks i've been quiet because i've been looking at it it says the second key feature is the lighter act spring in the air chamber while the coil takes care of the travel the act air system also adds the bottom out resistance so what the mm, coil okay. is inside a sealed like the a sealed chamber so the coil takes care of the travel and then a little bit of psi as it ramps up, because you know, naturally, as you you push through yeah. it, it adds progression. Hmm. And this is this is you'd say only put like twenty two psi in it. I think this, this is, is a, I, I think this is a cheat. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. It's not a Joey moment because this is like such an advanced thing that nobody would know Gear unless dog. you had it. Yeah, mm, yeah, maybe I had it. I said hey. I had on cheap ones, but I've never heard. Yeah, never heard That's on cool. cheap one. Is there a cotton condom on your microphone? Oh yes! <laughs> oh yeah, you missed the intro. Mm, yeah, <laughs> Carlton thing on the intro. What in the world? Mm, uh, it's my uh, new microphone. Actual pantyhose. <sighs> yes. Wait, pantyhose. <laughs> Goodness gracious! <laughs> <laughs> Goodness gracious! <laughs> G Willikers fans, why yeah. is it like that? <laughs> oh, amazing! It's a pop filter. If you haven't heard of a pop filter. I have no idea what that is. As I'm speaking, anti -filter, anti -filter. Okay. <laughs> I'm not saying that. Nope, into nope, it. nope, 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 nope. Okay. Hey, we're right, going to well, get to the clickbait. I was going to say, what's the clickbait for the evening? Well, we were going to say that fall is better than summer for mountain biking. Mm. I thought that was pretty solid, wasn't it? So we can talk about that for good. a bit. I, it's a true statement, but is it clickbait worthy? Mm, I, have you got any? I, I'll be honest. Me and Shane are stumped for clickbait this week. We were yes. going to, Shane wanted, Shane suggested doing. Uh, pressures of being a YouTuber, and I was like, because "No, doing seven days uh, videos." Oh. Yeah, because I was. I was, of being... I was trying to oh, sort. Of, I was trying to sort of kind of get some uh, empathy, I guess. Where I'm like, "There's a lot of like, a I've got to make the video, but all, all the comments are like, obviously about riding level." So I'm like, "Okay, I've got to do this thing. I've got to like do the good thing." And then I actually started to get a little bit stressed on the trail where I'm like about to do this thing. I'm just like, I have to do it because then I'll have a good video. 
but I think it's a bit whingy and a bit complainy, really. Then, well, you have to talk to the expert of clickbait. Um, I just want to let everybody know I can't talk that to myself, I so I'm solely responsible for the most viewed <laughs> podcast we've ever done. <laughs> Shut yep. up. You're welcome. Shane agrees. Um, the you had a, uh, have you had a two and a half million view video? Hmm? Uh, you had you a, a, that time. a one, a one that point three million view video. I would love to make an excuse, mm-hmm. and I'm so tempted to, but I don't need to stoop to the clickbait, uh, Paul, the puncher master level. Anyway, <laughs> Paul, <laughs> saying the pressures of YouTube, that is not click worthy. Saying no, why you shouldn't be a mountain bike YouTuber. Everyone's like, why not? That looks so fun. Or Another why question. being a mountain bike YouTuber sucks? That's a great question. Oh, but they just it sounds so whingy and complainy. I have a great life. I'm Paul, I'm, Paul, I'm very Paul, happy. People who aren't like you love whingy. They love things that don't what's whingy? That's what I asked. <laughs> <laughs> At the very it's beginning. Like, it's kind of whinging is kind of like whining. Do you have whining? Whinging? Yeah. Do you have whining? Do you have whining day? Whinging. Yeah, why don't you just say whining? Because I prefer whinging. It's nicer. Rolls off <laughs> the tongue. Anyway, yeah, I for clickbait, yeah, I, I, I think that would be a good episode talking about like the pitfall, not pitfalls, but the there's downsides to YouTube. Like there's pressure and there's, you know, you get in your own head sometimes. But I don't know if that's a clickbait for today. No, that's not the clickbait for today. And we got to keep talking because otherwise I'll have to actually have to edit this <laughs> down. Oh. And I do not want to do that. God forbid you're going to have to do some uh, more Oh, work. what about, what about like our favorite mountain bike moment from the year? Mm, that sounds like a good New Year's podcast. We're not through the whole year yet. Yeah. <laughs> it's basically over. The bike park shuts in two weeks. Like, I don't know. That's why we were suggesting four. You know what? When you don't have an idea for clickbait, that is yes. the best time to put the most like unusual clickbait in the world and then talk about it. So like we should come up with like a crazy title. People would have to click on like, mm. don't watch this video or, you know, something you super can't, cheesy. Can't. So basically you're just using your don't buy these bike. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, that one we talked oh. about what bikes not to buy. Paul, I understand clickbait. As long as you talk about it, people can't get too mad. That's true. Hey, we what, do something can we, we have something? Okay. Wait, what? Sexy? Yeah, we should do you something keep, sexy. You keep talking down there. What are you? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> You're doing a visual thing again. Yes. <laughs> that is disgusting. Shane has his handy. Let me do. Let me Shane. do it. No, yeah, do... no, 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 no. <laughs> let me do a play by play. Uh, Shane just took the cotton condom off of his microphone. <laughs> he then put it over his face. Me. Started breathing deeply. Now he's squirming. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh, Shane, those are literal pantyhose. Yeah, Why it, are you using pantyhose? Does it act as a pop filter when it's on my face? True or false? Those are your wife. Oh, they're they were brand new out of a package. But yes, from they were your hers. wife's closet. Yes. Yeah, that's true. No, those, those are his weekend ones. They're Shanaynes. That's what we <laughs> that's why we never see him at the weekend. <laughs> I'm just, you know, trying to be like Slipknot over here. I was just, I was just about to say, <laughs> I was like, is this the tenth episode of Slipknot? I'm confused. Clickbait. <laughs> Clickbait. Oh, <laughs> all right, brilliant. You brilliant. know what? No, let's talk about how clickbaiting is the worst. People would totally love to talk about that. <laughs> Man, my clickbait is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're doing it. There's the clickbait. Yeah, right there. the best clickbait Mine, in the world. Mountain bike clickbait how about, is the worst. How about what's the worst clickbait you've ever seen in a mountain bike video? Yes. Okay. <laughs> this is brilliant. Okay, see? let me let me just go to Daily MTV. You're welcome. Let me now. just go to Daily MTV right and find the worst clickbait. Uh, listeners, that was a live workshopping. That's how we actually figure out the clickbait thing. <laughs> and the best part is what they don't know is that we have already planned this for like weeks. We're like, okay, Josh is going to come in late. We're going to say we don't have any clickbait. It's uh, very deliberate. Have this great don't, idea. They need to make me look good. So share, deliberate. Look, listen, don't share our secrets with the listeners. They <laughs> sorry, might think sorry. that we're professional. Mm. Uh, yeah, we totally came up with this on the spot. The worst clickbait. Well, like, let's say, like, the worst clickbait is like where it's, I don't know, like something to do with an animal, but then the video is 15 minutes long and the thing only happens for two seconds at eight minutes and nine seconds. 
Yeah, like, is that that's, better? That's actually too far. That's where that's where I would never stoop to something. What about like clickbaiting a video and then not talking about it until like forty yeah. minutes in? Yeah, that oh, was my God, question. Do that. <laughs> who does? Who 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 has does that? Let's call them out. Let's just do it. Let's let's Ooh. shine the spotlight on this, when things don't happen. Ooh, this is. This is awkward. <laughs> yeah, that, that spotlight. That spotlight. The shane is shining. Yeah. I think I'm just. Oh, I, I see a video here called "Why I Quit Riding Flats, Throwing yes! Shoes, yes! Shoes in the Garbage." <laughs> Josh, Josh, we have to again bring that up. The Please do. In the I, garbage. Oh man, it's I just sit that whole this. principle of like why I switch from flats to clips, and you should too. Then yep. one week later, whoop, why I switched. Back. back to flat and you should and, too and guess what sponsored I, by 510 if you watch the whole video which the only people who comment are the ones who don't this guy is a kook this guy thinks he can get my view and he is right now as i'm typing this out but i'm so mad because he says it actually doesn't matter but it does to me yeah no you did actually have a reasonable ending uh for that one i will give you that Do you know, my i say my worst clickbait was i probably the day two of uh the whistler bike park that video is on like one hundred and seventy thousand. oh wow but the, the, it's me just riding over the joyride ladder yeah and when i was a little bit afraid of doing it but then when i did it i went oh that really is not that big a deal <laughs> yeah <laughs> but it was a double black trail and the arrow pointing to that feature was accurate and, it was and- just mm-hmm. <laughs> And this is where a really good conversation should come into play, right? Is like what, and we've talked about this. I w- I won't be the annoying guy. What is clickbait? Is clickbait an intriguing title and picture that actually applies to the video, or is clickbait you hooked me in, but it actually you didn't do anything like what you said was? That's what bugs yeah. me more than anything. That's the, it's the latter, a hundred percent. And yeah. here's what I'm saying. Like your video is not clickbait then because you did do that feature. Like me saying why yeah. I switched to flats. I actually did switch to flats. Like I'm not lying. <laughs> you know? It's true. Mm-hmm. It's, it's somewhat overhyped. I was like, never ridden this double black trail. And it's like, do, 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 do. <laughs> so uh, I, I will say. Yeah, that's how I would describe that trail. In that theme of things, talking, you know, those are the things that we're talking about that are clickbait. Uh, Casey Neistat, would you say he clickbaits? Uh, a lot of times I click on a video for something. I'm like, I haven't even seen any of this yet. And we're seven minutes in and going all over the place. And it's, I don't know, just, just going to call well, out the biggest YouTuber seven, in the world. He doesn't clickbait anymore because he doesn't post videos anymore. Uh, right. Oh, I haven't been following him. No, he's just, <laughs> he's probably just, do you know, he was, he was on another podcast, the HG podcast. This really isn't about man biking anymore. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's, so fun, it's about clickbait. He was like he was on the other one and he's he said like he's been offered like a hundred thousand more than a hundred thousand dollar deals to have one product appear in his video for what? one video so it's like and i'm pretty sure he's had a couple of kind of juicy sponsored ones from like samsung and stuff. so of course he's worked hard he should completely just yeah. get to sit off and do nothing he needs but, fresh no he does right? he does he does. I think he does. He says like the thing that happens in the video. I think yeah. it does happen. But I've, I, I don't know. Like, uh, Shane, have you ever clickbaited? I've uh, been trying to <laughs> re- recently. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. So I'm just looking. Goes wrong. My my no last yeah, from the, video. the one that I dropped today is called "Bike Reviews Suck." Actually, that's in the in the thumbnail, and then "New Bike Day Sucks" is the title. So it's like a double whammy. I'm trying to clickbait <laughs> there. The one right before that, I literally just did a black screen with white letters saying no clickbait. And then I just like, this is the powder horn race. And that did, pe- people are like, you, you totally drew me in by just saying this is no clickbait. Like, uh, but with no, very, wasn't a great performer though, from the looks um, of it. No, not, not necessarily for me. I don't really have great performers, so I'm good with that. Wait, but, but, I can, I can share a screen. I can oh, share yeah. a screen. The one before yeah, that. I was going to, but Paul, please do. I, I new did. bike day sucks. Bike reviews suck. That's yeah. not clickbait. That's confusing. Which one is it? It's both. Hey, mm. you uh, gotta click it to find out. Hey, Josh, you gotta include. Uh, you gotta add this thing in. 
Paul, I can't just add something. Oh, there we okay. go. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. Wait, I can, I think I can. Oh, no, I can't do that. I've been, okay. yeah, I've been trying. Can you tell oh, from shame, my thumbnails shame. I'm trying? Something that I see is obvious clickbait. Oh, Paul, scroll up a little bit. No clickbait. Powderhorn Sunday Scramble. That's what I just said. Pinball. And then it says Powderhorn Sunday Scramble. DH race number three. See, that's as my, my good. Yeah, my good friend would say, if you're labeling this like you would label a document on your computer, that's not clickbaity. Uh, that is just I'm descriptive. I'm telling you exactly oh in the thumbnail that there's no clickbait. Josh listens to me. Oh, my God. <laughs> Paul, don't let it go to your head, okay? Quit making excuses. Anyway. <laughs> that one literally is, I was kind of just like, you know, if the people that were on the mountain that day are the only ones that watched this video, cool. You know, mm -hmm. this is for He's them. The loser. Come on. No. You want it more? Like, okay. Look at that. What you about the almost, one before that? Yeah, see, like you had the best action with Kyle literally getting stuck in a rock. Oh man. Also incredible moment in that video where he's like, please don't record me. And you're like, <laughs> okay. I was just like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> record. He's like, he's like, this is this is Shane, ready? Like, please don't record me. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Beep boop. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, that's it's turning off. Yeah. yeah, I say I say it's turning off as well to other people. When apart from I couldn't do it to Nick today, Van Camp, three beats. because he knows. Yeah, three beats right. versus the seven. <laughs> I want to yeah. bring in the people who are listening as well. Clickbait is it's an art form because you're trying to get people so interested that they have to click, um, and yet you still have to leave them hanging. And so that's why I would say, Shane, some of your videos they don't leave me wanting more. It's just like. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, oh, what, what are your, what are your thoughts all. on the, what are your thoughts on this slot then, uh, then Shane, uh, Josh? Uh, Paul, can you say it out loud because I can't see where your cursor is? And oh, sorry, Josh, just this group here. We've got nine, oh. nine videos uh, here. I'm okay. This one is good. I'm done in a dark wait. place. Oh wait, G off off road. Oh, sorry, it changed. Everything oh. changed. Okay, let's do this. What's the best <laughs> one? We're just like tearing apart Shane to see if he actually has good clickbait. Which no, is we're trying to help him. I don't, something I don't know how to clickbait. Yeah. Who's that? Who's that good-looking guy in the middle on the okay. right? Okay. Can I okay. still do it? Is the picture, the thumbnail, and then it says "horse thief drop in." That I don't think is good clickbait, but that's a video I want to watch because I know what horse thief drop in is, and I'm curious. Can he still do it? And guess what, Shane? That video did very well. Yeah, it's not too bad for me. Do you yeah. know what is your best video here? It's on straight in the middle. I with see your it. Young, uh, <laughs> terrible thumbnail, but incredible oh, yeah. video. Maybe I should I change was, that thumbnail. Uh, it's too late now. Whatever <laughs> they say is blown. It's like <laughs> you can't you can't do it. Uh, what is, else do we have? This is a great. This is a, now we now we're into a good topic. I knew we'd figure it out. All right. Mm -hmm. Trolling about, Paul the about, Punter, that's a video I would click a thousand times over. That guy needs to be trolled <laughs> hard. That's why I have a thousand <laughs> views from Josh. Except, uh, except Shane, you, you committed the um, the worst sin. Is what did I do? The wording in your thumbnail is the same wording as the title. It's got to be different. Uh, You're telling a story. Yes. Oh, does yes. it for real? Yeah, it they has to, to be different. Yeah, you okay. have to have thumbnail and titles are all about contrast i feel like i'm getting every... so much value here let me let me take some notes so this is so, free this is free of charge paul, paul this is this is free information for you to use as an illustration you probably already have the thumbnail is how somebody looks the title is their personality both draw you in oh yeah but they should con the best ones contrast each other yes. if you like you know what i mean like um you could have like someone crashing over the bars in the picture and then say like, Oh, nothing interesting happening on, on this ride or something like yeah. that. Do you know what I mean? Well, like it's the contrast. One. It's like, Oh, weird. Oh, huh? And that's how it gets it. Like th there's a good one. There is the can short travel 29 and shred. You could have got rid of all the text and just had your face in the bike on there and then have can short travel 29 and shred. And oh, in the description, in the title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Where, where's your bit? Where's your first horse, horse thief of twelve? Oh no! Oh god! Uh, there you go, Josh. Josh. They get oh, pretty oh, bad. God, text, text, text. My Too eyes. Too much text. My uh, eyes. Oh, people. Oh, yeah, the horse thief one is the right before the short travel. The scariest thing I've ever done. I, I literally do not know how to do thumbnails. Oh, We're learning. Yeah, because you're. 
uh, great. people at home who can't see this, we are looking at Shane's thumbnails, and some of them is like it says like Trek Slash, and then it's like a generic picture of a Trek Slash, and it says Better Than the Remedy, which is like that's not a good thumbnail. That looks like an advertisement for an article on a cheap mountain bike magazine. Thirty thousand you know, views. <laughs> you no, know, but do you know what that looks like? That looks like uh, one of those computer automatic generated videos, and that's what it's strung together. Mm. Like there's loads of them. I can't remember this one channel. I love the "We're gonna die" one though. That was that was almost genius. That was fun. I it was a fun day. Yeah. Mm. Like oh, there's, there you go. Huge pedals. That's a perfect mm-hmm. example that's of what we're trying one. to say. That's a good yeah, one. Yeah, that's the one. That's the Huge. one. You've got you've got something going on in the pic, and it's explained by what's going on in the title. Okay. Yeah. Learn so, so much. So. Let's give it. Let's give it Shane a little lesson, Paul. Th- I think this is the primary example. The video with the most views on this right now is the twenty-four thousand. the The thumb is a picture of Shane going over the bars mm. on his bike. Says OTB, and to the left of him says the scariest thing I've ever done. The title is Horse Bench Drop In My Scariest Line Ever. Paul, here's what I would tell Shane. Shane, mm-hmm. here's what mm-hmm. you need to do. I'm right here. You can talk to me. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Okay. So, so Paul, cool, 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 back cool, cool, cool. to you. Anyway, uh, this is what I would tell Shane. If you the scariest thing I've ever done should be the title, and then the picture should be maybe a little more centered, if you can, of you going over the bars like that. That that would be legendary. Oh, no words I, on the thumbnail. Of, it's kind of yeah, it's kind of close. I'd say that image and then OTB in the top left with an arrow pointing towards it. I'm a big fan of arrows. Yeah, you like the arrow. And then it says, uh, and then the title would be my scariest line ever. And then you could put a comma, horse thief bench, blew my mm. mind or something like maybe, that. Maybe not a comma, but maybe a colon. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Colon. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lawn that you share. So a colon. <laughs> <laughs> if we were yeah. going to do merch, we could have so many like little phrases and stuff. Dude, the like, co- the colon. The colon. <laughs> we have t-shirts. <laughs> Like, <laughs> two houses on the side of the lawn like in the neighbor. With two colon. dots. Thanks for the colon. <laughs> you have to mow this week. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so good. Uh, anyway, uh, maybe we should wrap this up because this is probably enough. Yeah, and Shane is crying. I'm crying like inside. He He's yes, like, with made fun of tears, me. of tears of happiness. We're just Next extending. Week. We're extending the emo that we did earlier that you missed, Josh. Oh, Next no. week on the J Podcast, we review Shane's uh, diaries as when he was 13 years old. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what about, What's let's you- wrap up the clickbait. Good or bad? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Good or bad about yours? No, just clickbait in general. We're talking about clickbait. Oh, oh I thought that was clickbait. the end of the podcast. I thought that was how we normally end it. I'm waiting for Josh to just click, stop going live. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that it? <laughs> yeah. Done. <laughs>